Hi everyone. Welcome to Dr. JJS Virtual Academy of Commerce. In this video, I am going to deliver a lecture on the topic Meaning, Definition, Nature and Characteristics of Management Accounting. These are all a couple of details related to my career. After you watch the full video, if you find the video beneficial to you, give a like to the video. Do subscribe my channel and enable the notifications so that you will get the notifications of my new videos. Let's get into the topic. Meaning of Management Accounting The term Management Accounting consists of two words. One is Management and the other one is Accounting. However, it is a study of managerial aspects of accounting. It is a tool in the hands of management to exercise decision making. The emphasis of management accounting is to redesign accounting in a manner which is helpful to the management in framing the policies and control of their execution. Management accounting is of recent origin. The term was first used in 1950 by a team of accountants visiting USA under the auspices of Anglo-American Council on Productivity. Intensive competition, large-scale production, dynamic developments in technology and complexities of modern business have led to the development of management accounting to solve many of the problems of business enterprises. Management accounting as a subject which could be used by business enterprises of any nature. It is not restricted for the use of company form of business alone. It could be used by any form of business enterprises for taking effective decisions and in the creation of policies for their undertakings. Let's look at the definitions given for the concept management accounting. ICMA, it is CIMA, Chartered Institute of Management Accountants, London, has given a definition for the concept management accounting. It says, it is a presentation of accounting information in such a way as to assist the management in the creation of policy and in the day-to-day -day operations of an undertaking. So it is very clear that it is nothing but the presentation of accounting information to the management in such a way, in a suitable way, in the most appropriate way, which would facilitate the management at the top level or middle level or at any level of the management in the creation of policy and the decisions to be taken for the day-to-day -day operations of a business enterprise. That's the meaning of definition given by CIMA for the concept management accounting. Jay Batty has also defined the concept management accounting. He says, it is a term used to describe the accounting methods, systems, techniques which coupled with special knowledge and ability assist management in its task of maximizing profit or minimizing losses. So he says, it is a subject which includes accounting methods, systems and techniques which are coupled with special knowledge and the ability of the people involved what for to assist the management at various levels in their task of maximizing profit or to minimize the losses of the business enterprise whatever the nature of management accounting this subject could be partly regarded as science and partly regarded as an art it is a science of quantifying and summarizing the information and it is an art of interpreting the accounting data which would facilitate effective decision making on the part of the management. The subject depends upon objectivization and quantification of progress and problems. From this point of view, management accounting may be regarded as a science. However, management accounting also involves human judgment, impulses, whims and prejudices as evidenced in interpretation of data deductions and conclusions drawn from analysis. Therefore, subjectivity is inevitable in deriving the meaning of the data. You cannot expect two different people to derive the same meaning from a given data. They can come up with different meanings or different interpretations from the same data. It depends upon the knowledge and the skill what they have related to the field. Personal judgment of management accountant may influence the interpretations and deductions significantly. From this viewpoint, 
we can say management accounting may be regarded as an art discipline. So we may conclude by saying that like all other social sciences, management accounting is partly a science and partly an art. Let's look into the characteristics of management accounting. The first characteristic is titled providing financial information. The main emphasis of management accounting is to provide financial information to the management. The information that is provided in such a manner which is suitable to various levels of management what for? For reviewing the policies, for creating and reviewing the policies and also for taking effective decisions. The second characteristic of management accounting is cause and effect analysis. Management accounting analyzes the cause and effect of the facts and figures thereon. If there is a loss incurred by a business enterprise in a given period, management accounting facilitates the managers to identify and understand the causes for the loss. If there is a profit, it facilitates the managers to identify the variables which influence or which contribute for the profit which has been generated by the company or business enterprise in a given period. The third characteristic of management accounting is use of special techniques and concepts. Management accounting makes use of special techniques like standard costing, budgetary control, marginal costing, Fund flow statement or cash flow analysis, ratio analysis, responsibility accounting, etc. What for? To make accounting data more useful and helpful to the management. Each of these techniques that are used in the subject management accounting is useful for specific purpose of analysis and interpretation of data or establishing control over operations and many more. The next characteristic of management accounting is decision making. The main objective of management accounting is to provide relevant information to the management to take various important decisions which will have either long term or short term impact on the functioning of the organization. That's what about the fourth characteristic. And the fifth one is about no fixed conventions. This subject is not like financial accounting and cost accounting. Those subjects are supported by well-established conventions and concepts. Whereas, we don't find such established conventions and concepts in management accounting. The tools and techniques applied by management accounting are the same, but application of these techniques varies from concern to concern and situation to situation. Interpretation of analyzed data depends on the person using it. The conclusions derived from application of a technique depends on the intelligence and experience of the management accountant. The sixth characteristic of management accounting is achievement of objectives. If there are deviations of actual performance from the predetermined results, corrective action is taken and predicted objectives are achieved. This becomes possible with the help of the management accounting techniques of standard casting and budgetary control. The seventh characteristic of management accounting is improving efficiency. The very purpose of accounting is to provide information to increase efficiency of the business enterprise. In management accounting, the efficiency of the departments, divisions and even individuals can be improved by fixation of targets or goals for a specific period. The actual performance of the departments or the divisions or the individuals could be measured and compared with that of the targets. Positive deviations are reviewed and rewarded. Negative deviations are probed to ascertain the causes and actions will be initiated. The eighth characteristic of management accounting is forecasting. Management accounting is a futuristic subject like marketing. It is concerned with taking decisions for future implementation. But definitely it is done based on the past and present information. The ninth characteristic of management accounting is providing of information and not decisions. This is an important point to be understood by the learners that management accounting doesn't supply any decisions to the managers at various levels of the business enterprise. It only supports them with the relevant information which would facilitate or which would enable the managers to take correct decisions. So it doesn't supply decisions, it only provides information which would facilitate 
effective decision making on the part of the managers i hope i have done my lecture up to a level of satisfaction i'll meet you in another video bye for now everyone